What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Shopper, bringing you my best bet of the day. It is Tuesday. What is it? Tuesday, October 25th. I almost said the 24th. It's the 25th. Not as crazy of a sports day just because we get a brief hiatus from the NFL, from college football. They'll be back in a couple of days. We still have plenty to break down across the games, across the leagues, and that's what we're going to do here. If you're checking out this channel for the first time, welcome to Odd Shopper. We're breaking down all things betting, all sports, whatever you want. Parlay, single games, props. We have it here. Check out what we got going on. You want to support us? We super, super appreciate it. Hit the like button. That's the easiest way to do it. And if you want to stick around, subscribe to this channel. We're over 30,000 in this community. It's thanks to you guys. Yesterday, Bears Patriots, Zappy. Uh, guy's too good, I guess, uh, even though it really wasn't him. The Bears, explosive on offense. Our under was pretty much dead. It slowed in the second half, so there were live betting opportunities, which was nice, but under 40 and a half really didn't have a chance given that the bears were able to hang so many points. They almost hit that number on their own defensively for the Patriots, just a disaster. So that was no good, but beautiful thing. We turn the page here. We try to get that money back today. One way to do it. Bet MGM bet 10, win 200. You see it there on the screen. What does that mean? New users. You click the link in the description of this video. This takes like five minutes. You sign up and you deposit. You could throw 10 bucks in there, bet an NBA money line. When one of the teams in that game hits a three-pointer, they give you $200 in free bets. It's that simple. It's a great way to have some extra money so you can weather the storm when you're in a slump, so you can take extra shots when you're on a heater. That is what we're going to do. Where are we going today? We're going to the NBA. Big game. Ball night, Warriors, Suns. I'm going to go to the Suns. Minus two and a half, minus 110. Let's talk about why. This is, like I said, a big-time game. Certainly uh, could be a preview of the Western Conference Finals in due time. Both teams got off to 2-1 and one starts, but there's a lot to talk about here. Let's start with the Warriors. The Warriors are 2-1. and one. Beat the Lakers. Lost the Nuggets. Beat the Kings. They are scoring like Banshees. They are just ridiculous pace right now. So they've scored 123 or more points in all three games. Their possessions per game is up to 113. That's 10 more possessions than they had last year. That's three full possessions clear of the second fastest team so far. So they're playing at a, a wildly unsustainable pace. They're sc first in scoring, naturally. Uh, it's just been ridiculous. They're playing crazy, crazy fast. But we're going to tie in why, when you look at this, it's a little different when you're playing the Kings and the Lakers and even the Nuggets, who they lost to, uh, than when you're playing the Phoenix Suns. So the Suns, 2-1, and one, beat the Mavericks, lost in Portland, beat the Clippers uh, on the road. Much more defensively driven. We know that this is a team they're going to be consistently up there for for defensive metrics, and even so far this year through three games, you know, and they're they're in the top half of opponent shooting percentage, opponent three point percentage, all of these things. Last year in those categories, they were third and ninth. So this is a team that's really going to get after you defensively, offensively. Booker's had a great start to the season, north of thirty points per game. Again, these numbers, one game, it'll drastically different because the sample size is so small. But we know what these teams possess. We've seen them before. And a lot of, you know, the Suns kind of return in tack here. But this is where I really want to drill down and talk about how I'm arriving in this spot. First of all, Phoenix at home, I, I know how it ended last year in, in just awful fashion for them. But they were 32-9 and nine at home. This strong team is a team that's certainly going to be relevant for the one seed Uh they know what they're doing. It ended terribly, but I'm not going to hold that against them forever. And then the most important point that I want to make through these three games, Golden State, they played crazy fast. They were able to control tempo. They were able to get what they wanted. But let's look at those teams and kind of look at their last year, because I don't want to just look at a three game sample size that has it baked in when you already played the Warriors. Sacramento last year, 28th in opponent shooting percentage. The Lakers. 22nd in opponent shooting percentage. Denver, 23rd in opponent shooting percentage. Not good at all. The Suns were way better than all three of those teams. Three-point percentage. Sacramento was 29th. The Lakers were 12th. Again, the Phoenix in the top 10. These are metrics. These teams don't match up to what Phoenix can do defensively. I would be stunned if the game gets out to the pace there and even the 225 and a half. I'm not saying that's a small total by any stretch, but these games have been in like the 250s, and that's just not possible to continue. And I don't think the Suns are going to play that style of game. This could be more in the half court. 
slower. All of that, I think, favors Phoenix. It's a more important game to them, in my opinion. Not that either one matters in game four, but I think Phoenix will be ready. Minus two and a half. Went to Odd Shopper. There are some threes out there. I jumped on this. Minus 110. Don't want to mess around. Wait for juice. Don't want to mess around. Wait for three. I like minus two and a half for the Phoenix Suns at home. I think defensively, we see them really step up and get a nice win early in this season. Again, if you're looking for more, more NBA or just more in general, check out all the other videos we have on this very channel. And again, your support means the world. Love getting up and doing this video. Love doing all the content here at Odd Shopper. It's because of you guys supporting us. So we really do appreciate it. Enjoy all the games tonight from NBA to NHL and everything in between. And stay tuned for even more content here at Odd Shopper. Good luck. Enjoy the games. I'll talk to you guys soon.